Well, there was two. The same species that prompted Lummi Nation to declare a state of emergency has also proved problematic for the Shoalwater Bay Indian tribe. We're not seeing a let up of anything on the numbers that we're trapping. Invasive European green crabs are known to destroy habitats and threaten shellfish and other marine life. Whatever they can catch, they will eat. Oh God, look at that, we got a meeting pair. We traveled to Lummi Sea Pond this past winter to see trapping in action. The tribe says in 2019, it caught dozens. In 2020, it caught hundreds. And in 2021, tens of thousands. This year, a number of agencies, volunteer groups, and shellfish producers have worked to actively remove more than 138,000 since January 1st across the state. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife says we're still in the early stages of an invasion, meaning there's hope to curb the spread. So we have a unique opportunity to really uh, hit these hard and try to manage them. Some of those trapping efforts included 20,000 crabs caught by the Shoalwater Bay tribe near Tokeland, 25,000 by an oyster growers association along the Long Beach Peninsula, and more than 3,000 this summer around Grace Harbor. Scientists say the crabs adapt well to warmer waters, a concern in recent years and for the future. And that's what one of the main reasons why we're seeing more green crab coming in. They're just we're just getting hit uh, more often by these larval distributions. So Erica, what happens after the crabs are caught? Well, in some cases, like along Shoalwater Bay, they say that they're able to use these crabs for fertilizer. In other cases, they're frozen and then disposed of. In Oregon, where they've seen a lot more of these crabs, they've actually set it up so that people can catch them. And in some cases, people are eating them, though here that's really not the focus yet. Christine. All right, Erica, thank you very much for that.